is up it's Dana. welcome to or welcome back to my channel so for today's video i picked up some more items from shein all this stuff is smushed inside of this box but i did get quite a variety of stuff i got swimsuits dresses shirts and i got some skirts in there as well but before we hop into this video i do have one really exciting announcement and that is that i dropped merch i am so excited that i did do it through teespring i know a lot of youtubers do their merch through teespring design the merch and then i had it sent to me just so that i could test it out myself see the quality but i could see if i personally liked it before i let you guys know i am wearing one of the designs right now and i did get my in black and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I've been wearing it non-stop. It's so soft. I'm sorry if this has cat hair on it, but that's what the first design looks like. These flowers I actually drew myself and then it just has AC, my initials in the corner. And then this is the second design. I've been seeing those birth year necklaces all over the place and I really like them. I thought they were so cool. So I was born in 1998. I thought it would be really cool to put that on a sweatshirt. So that's exactly what I did and I just think that it looks really cool and edgy so again I did get this in black you guys don't have to get these in black if you don't want to and you don't have to get a crew neck either you guys know I'm just obsessed with crew necks I do have a tan color in the 1998 one which I really want to pick up for myself and then maybe crop it so I'll have the link to that down below you guys should definitely go and check it out and I do want to create a third merch design but I need your guys's help with it so Madison actually drew me this super cool picture of a lion with like flowers around it but yeah i just thought it would be cool to like have a big lion on the back of like a sweatshirt or a hoodie but i just don't know what to put on the front so if you guys have any ideas then definitely let me know in the comments down below all right that is all that i have to talk about let's go ahead and get right into this shein haul I'm gonna start off with the swimwear just because I did get a couple of swimwear pieces. I have been wanting to test out their swimwear for a while now. This is the first swimwear piece that I picked up and this is still a little wet because I've been wearing this like crazy. This one is very, very small. I would recommend sizing up, but I wear this one to tannin, so I don't really mind that it's super teeny tiny. So this is what the top looks like, just a plain tie top and it is a triangle style. The cups are very, very small. It does have removable padding, which is nice. This is what the bottoms look like. You can like move it. So if you want it to be super, super tiny, then you can have it that way. Or if you want to spread it out a little bit, you can have it that way as well. Cute little floral pattern and it is a green, which I don't have any green swimsuits. So I think that's kind of why I was drawn to this one. Next suit I got is this bright yellow neon color. I've been getting this color like crazy lately I just love how it looks on a tan. This is what the top looks like to this one. It is ribbed. The quality I actually really like. The pads are not removable. Honestly, they're not really like the best pads. And then you do have the adjustable straps on the back. This is what the bottoms look like. They do have two string detail. This one I actually got in a medium because all of the reviews said that it was really small and to size up. And I'm glad that I did size up. If I got a small, it would have been way too small. Honestly, I probably could have even sized up two sizes. This is the last suit that I got. It's like a color block kind of suit. And I really like the top to this one. I think that it's a really cool style. It does have the adjustable straps with the tie detail in the back as well. And then this is what the bottoms look like. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the bottoms. I just don't like this crease. I don't know why they put that there. I don't think that is flattering at all. And I really wish it wasn't there because then I would really like the suit, but it's there. I really like the top, so I'm wondering if I could just get like an orange bottom or like a light kind of corally bottom to go with the top. That way I can wear it. That is all of the swimwear. So now hopping into clothing. This is the first dress that I picked up. And I picked this one out just because I thought it was very similar to something on Princess Polly's website. And I just thought it was really cute. I love the color. It does have the ruched cups and it has a little tie detail with the puffed sleeves. And then it is ruched all down the back. So here's the purple dress on. I don't think it's that that bad the only thing that kind of bugs me is the material you guys can hear if I go like this or like just rub it you guys can kind of hear that it's like a different 
kind of material. I don't think it's that bad for the price if you don't mind this kind of material. So this is the next dress that I got and I actually already wore this dress. I like the material of this one so much better. A baby pink dress and then it has navy blue flowers all over it. With a little ruffle on the bottom. It is self tie straps and then it does have ruching in the back which is nice and stretchy and then it also has a zipper down the side. I really love this one. I do kind of tuck it underneath itself in the front. I did actually wear this dress the other day with a jean jacket and my Air Force Ones and it was such a cute outfit and I definitely recommend this. So these next couple of items I'm actually going to try on together. But the first thing that I got was this big oversized t-shirt and it just has two tigers in the front. I just thought it was really cool and I liked the red and the white. And then to go with this oversized t-shirt I did pick up some biker shorts. I have one pair of black biker shorts from Forever 21 and they don't fit me the greatest but I just keep them around because I don't have any other black biker shorts. So I did get a pair from Shein. These aren't a cotton biker short. They're more, I would say, like a spandexy type of biker short, but I don't mind that at all. And I did get them in a size small. So here is this outfit on. I actually really like it. This is something that I would for sure go out and like run errands in. I would just toss on some like Air Force Ones with it or something. So this shirt is definitely very oversized and I think I got it in a size small. So I wouldn't size up or anything or else it's going to be absolutely enormous. I do like the biker shorts they are like the perfect length they're a little bit on the shorter side which i like in a biker short just because i'm so short as it is so if i have a really long biker short then it just makes my legs look super stubby and they're actually not see-through at all which is very surprising to me for the price of them so this is the only other shirt that i got i guess i'll just check this on with the biker shorts i hope you guys don't mind i did get a couple of these style of shirts in short sleeves so i decided i'd go ahead and pick it up in a long sleeve version as well it is just one of those like tie front style tops and i got it in this really pretty baby blue color which you guys know that i love i definitely wouldn't wear these two together but this is what it looks like it is ribbed which i love and then if you wanted to you could even wear this as a cardigan kind of style top you could undo it with something underneath or maybe like a white bandeau top i feel like that would be cute so i'm gonna show you guys this set before we go into the skirts i did pick up this striped set just because I saw it and I thought that it would be a really cute beachy outfit. So it is just white and blue striped and then it does a cinch and tie in the back. And they have these in I think a couple different colors. I know they have it in a green. Here are the shorts that go with it. Just like a really nice flowy kind of short and this you don't even have to wear these as a set if you don't want to but i think that this would look really cute too with even a blue tank top i don't know how i feel about this one it's really soft it feels really nice but i just don't think that i can pull it off and the shorts were just a little bit long so i did roll them i don't know maybe i just feel like it's too much going on but it does have this cute little tie detail in the back with the people I feel like I definitely wear the shorts with a different top. I don't know if just all the stripes is what's throwing me off or what it is. I feel like I'd wear them separate. So moving on to skirts, I did pick up two pairs. Both of them are floral pattern. This one has a little bit of a smaller floral pattern than the other one does. It has little white flowers all over it. So that's what the pattern looks like. It does have a zipper on the side and then it has a little slit in the bottom too. So I toss on this black bodysuit with which is also from Shein. This skirt, unfortunately, it doesn't fit me. You guys can see that it's really, really big around my waist. I'm wondering if I could actually take it in with my sewing machine because I feel like it'd be cute if it actually fit my waist. I really like the length. Maybe I can see if I can figure out how to take it in and figure something out. But moving on to the next skirt, it's very similar to this one. It's another black skirt, but this one has bigger daisies on it. And this one's more of a cottony material. And I got this one in an extra small. I believe I got this one in a small, but I don't think that they had an extra small option for this one. I could be wrong. This one also has a little slit on the side. Hopefully this one fits me a little bit 
better. I think it will. It looks a little bit small. I love this one. This one is so cute. Fits me so much better. It does have an elasticated waistband, so it's really, really stretchy. I love the little slit. It's like the perfect length, and the material on this one is so soft. So a big thumbs up for this one. Moving on to the last couple of things that I got. I decided to get some activewear. I was very curious on if their activewear was worth purchasing or if it was good quality. So I did get one set and then I got a pair of leggings. So I saw this bright yellow pair of leggings and I was like, oh my goodness. These are so fun, so bright. The material feels really nice. Like I don't have a problem with it at all. It does have ruching down the back. I did get a size small. Stereo says it's 13% spandex, 87% nylon. And these ones are seamless. These are so fun, so bright. They fit really well. Decent length. They do bunch on the bottom, but that's like pretty much any legging for me. I am wearing very, very light colored underwear, but if you were to wear any brighter color, they'd be see-through. The material, as far as I can tell right now, is actually pretty nice. The only thing that's bothering me just the slightest bit is the like little ruche detail on the butt. I feel like if I squat in this just the littlest bit, I feel like I'm gonna rip the seam. I might have even been able to get away with a medium in these. This one feels softer than these do. This one, I saw this pink and of course I had to get it because it was pink. So another seamless pair. I think Gymshark has a pair of seamless leggings like these and this set was extremely cheap and super affordable. So that's what these look like. And then they have these little holes in them for like breathability probably. It comes with the matching sports bra, which is high neck. I think it, yep, it does have padding in it. And then this is what the back looks like. The sun is really playing with me today, if you guys could not tell. Do you, I think it's cute? Yes, it's so soft, so comfortable, but I would not recommend it. Very, very thin. When I squat down, you can actually see my underwear, even though it's nude. I don't know if you guys can really see, but you can see the tag through it. And then the top, it does have removable padding, but the padding is like a uniboob pad. Like it's one big pad and it doesn't cover my boobs. They're super close together. Like that's where the pads are. Honestly, I would take the padding out, but then you wouldn't have any support. So I would just say no for this one. Even though this one's really cute and really comfortable, for me, it's just not practical to work out in. Okay, you guys, that is everything in this Shein haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below. Let me know which item was your favorite. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will also have the link to my merch below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.